Hey you guys, how's it going? AGO Crunchbox here, welcome back to another video. So today, I am bringing you another life story, two days in a row, so hopefully you guys will appreciate that. If you enjoy the video at any time, give it a massive thumbs up, because that really helps me out, you know. We're almost at 400 subs, we're about 70 subs away, or 60 subs away, so it's crazy. And I want to say a massive thank you for that already, it's just, it's insane. So, like I said, a massive thank you for that. And today guys, the life story, like I said, is going to be, as you can tell from the title, the time that I cracked someone's head open. So the funniest part I think about this story is the fact that it was in nursery. So I believe people in like America and stuff like that, I believe you call it preschool. It's like when you're about three and a half, four years old, you go to a school or like a mini school for a year, or maybe you call it, I don't even know what you call it, but either way, we called it a nursery. And luckily the nursery that I went to was literally sort of joint onto the primary school I went to so it was always at the same place from like when I was like four years old all the way up until I was like 10 or 11 so it's pretty good pretty close to my house as well so everything was peachy in that area um but like I said I cracked this girl's head open which was crazy because obviously it wasn't meant I wasn't a spiteful child and I've got a couple of funny nursery stories I don't even know why I remember them when they were like 15 years ago I just find that honestly just insane but the fact that I remember it I thought I'd share it with you guys I wrote this down I actually have a notebook where I write all my ideas on so if I ever remember an idea I write it down because I know that I'm gonna forget when I first started doing live stories on this channel when I made it because that's what I pretty much made the channel for to get some other gameplay content and just trying to give you guys a different sort of theme video I guess every single time as opposed to what I do on my other channel so uh like I said, I write all the ideas down so I don't forget, and when I started I only had a few ideas, but this one I remembered and it was golden, so enough rambling, let's go ahead and get into the story. So, like I said, back in nursery or preschool, whatever you call it, but for me, like I said, it's nursery, and we were on one of those, what do you call them, they're like a seesaw? I'll put a picture on the screen, because they're really common for us over here in the UK, probably other places as well, but really common when you're a young kid, and I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys will have used one of these, so I'll put a picture on screen. It was like a plastic red seesaw, so, you know, there's a space in the middle for someone to sit on, and obviously one on either side. Um, me and my friend, not going to mention any names, not that I'll ever find this channel or anything, because I don't really speak to her now, um, we, don't talk, we haven't spoke to each other since primary school, so that was ages ago. We both went to different schools and whatever, but we were friends back then. And uh, yeah, we were obviously either side of the seesaw. And uh, I remember this so clearly. Um, we were pretty much, half the seesaw was on the grass. So obviously outside the nursery there was pavement into like the nursery garden, I guess. There was like pavement for, I don't know, chalk and whatever you want to do. And then it goes on to like a grassy hill. So I was on the grass half, like obviously it was half and half, so I don't know why we did this in the first place. I honestly don't know why the nursery teachers actually let it go on the pavement, because if someone were to fall off, like they did in this instance, then it's it's pretty dangerous, I guess, considering like, you know, she cracked her head open. So what happened was, obviously, we were just having fun doing our thing, about four years old, innocent, rocking on this uh, seesaw, and then I thought in my head, I was just like, okay, so... I think it'd be pretty funny if I just jumped off. So I was like, okay, should I bail? Should I just roll off? Because I don't know why. I was obviously a troubled child. <laughs> but um, in my head, you know, that's, that's all that was going through my head. Should I, should I bail? Should I just hop off and see what happens? And obviously, if you hop off because it's like counterbalancing each other, the other person would just fall off. And we used to do this all the time. Um, not in nursery, just like whenever we have one of them. Because I actually had one at my house as well when I was younger. So... I used to do it quite a lot. I don't know if my brother and sister will remember that, but either way. Um, at school and that as well, friends' house, all that stuff. We used to do it, so I thought it'd be funny. She had no idea it was coming. No one had any idea it was going to happen, so I was like, okay. Obviously, not doing this intentionally to hurt her because that would just be awful and disgusting for a four-year-old to think about. Um, but pretty much what happened was, obviously, I bailed. I jumped. I was like, all right, see ya. So I jumped and... It was when, obviously, it was down on my half, so it came down onto the grass when my, obviously, the bottom of my half touched the ground, and I rolled off. I just rolled off, and it obviously smacked back down, and because we were smaller, obviously, if you're older, it's not going to make any difference, because you're like, you know, you just find it funny, you find it a joke, and you just laugh it off and just do it again, I guess. Um, but, you know, nursery kid, not expecting it, small, no upper body strength. If you can hear that dog outside, it's really frustrating me, so I apologise about that. Um, obviously, no, like I said, no upper body strength, just fell off and fell, obviously, because, like I said, I was slightly on the grass on the hills, so I was fine, you know, but 
had a bit of dirt on me, but that's fine. She fell onto the pavement and crack her head. Like, I don't know to the extent of how cracked open it was, but I remember it was because I obviously just remember them telling me and her going to the hospital and all that stuff. But it was pretty crazy because doing all this stuff when I was like a three and a half, four years old is pretty crazy and a bit stupid, I guess. So don't do that. Obviously, you guys are probably old enough now not to do it. But if you ever find yourself in that situation, just... Uh, just don't bail if there's something dangerous. If it was grass, obviously, I wouldn't care, you know, because it would just be grass. She would probably fall just like me, but either way, she landed on the pavement, you know, cracked the head open. Like I said, not too sure on the extent of how much it was cracked or whatever, but, you know, like I said, it's it's what they told me, so I believed it, and why would they lie anyway about it? But either way, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed this live story today. If you have, like I said before, took it a massive thumbs up. Let me know down below. If you have a similar story, I always forget to say this, if you have a similar story to this one, where you've like done something in nursery or something like that, leave it down below because I love reading through all the comments. So leave it down there, guys. Thank you for being awesome. I'll see you guys in the next one.